everybody and welcome to this week's video. I wanted to hop on here really quick and just give a quick voiceover and explanation where I was last week since I didn't have a video. I was actually at my 10 year high school reunion. I flew up to my parents house and that's actually what this footage is from. So I wanted to share with you, especially since the flight was just so amazing. We flew from over St. Helens and Mount Hood. Mount Jefferson, Three Sisters, Mount Shasta was in the distance. It was just such a cool flight. So I wanted to share the footage with you and I will hop back on for the voiceover when it's time to do the tour. Alrighty, so tour time. I have been here at the house for about three months now. And as you guys saw, I'm sure from the title, I am essentially moved out of a van. It is the end of van life for me, but only for now. So here we are at the front of my house. If you guys saw my moving in video, you'll probably notice that I'm starting at a different side of the house. Um, when I did my moving in video, I was filmed at the other door, but this is now my new front door. Um, if you guys saw a video, a few videos back, we put this front door in and yeah, I'm gonna pour a new slab here in the front. Uh, in the near future and then I'm going to be getting rid of this extra door and yeah it's a lot of work in progress and a lot of work coming up um, but this is just where I'm at right now showing you guys how everything is how everything's been and basically the name of the game was just to get into the house and be comfortable because it's like 109 degrees out and it's just too hot to be in the van even if it's just to cook which is what I was doing for a long time now. So coming inside the house I am just gonna go uh, in a clockwise order from the front door. What you're looking at here is going to be a wardrobe area. Hi Teddy! Um, and that wardrobe area is gonna have a built-in but right now I just have a coat tree and <laughs> that door which if you guys saw the the video putting in the front door you'll have seen that that door was the door that I bought in LA, but I bought the wrong door. It's still here, it's still for sale. If somebody wants to buy it, just please let me know. I would love to get rid of it. Anyways, that mirror back there came out of the bathroom and I'll show you in the bathroom um, where it came from because it, oh, it's just, 
it was, it had to go. It was in a really weird spot. Anyways, I have some paint swatches on the back of the door, and if you guys want to take a guess on where those paint swatches are going to go in the house, then I will let you know if you're right or not. Um, but I've just got some colors of brown and some rust orange that I've got swatched and I'm trying to pick out, and yeah. Moving over to the next side of the room, I have a door uh, to the living room. This is eventually going to become a cased opening, but for now, I still have a door here. This corner is a little bit of um, a source of stress. I would love for this to be more organized, but it's as organized as I can make it. I've got all of my boxes and tools and whatnot. And I'm just trying to stay organized without building shelves or anything. So far, so good. It's all right, but could be better. And I really, really would love to have some sort of shop or storage unit outside. But so far, we do not have that. Anyways, moving along, we've got these big windows that I'm sure you guys saw in the first video. Um, the idea is for that one window to become a French door and then also on the project is to get rid of that gross fan. Um, fun fact, fans actually give me headaches, like the spinning visual of them, like, and the shadows they cast, they, it just gives me a headache. It's, it's like, I can't use it, even though they're really great to have when it's hot. Um, this camping chair that you guys can see is what I call like my hot chair or like my gross and sweaty chair. So when I don't want to go and get the couch dirty because I'm all gross and sweaty from working outside, I come and sit on the camping chair because it can wash. Next up, this is the table that came with the house and I've just set it up to be my work from home desk. Um, one of the chairs and I've got a blanket down because I will stick to the wood otherwise because it's just a little hot in here. So you can see it's 83 inside, 109 outside. Ignore the high of 121. That's just what it is when the sun's hitting it. But anyways, this is just my desk, a little um, can of treats for Teddy. And yeah, moving along, I've got some light fixtures. Some of these I thrifted. Some of them came out of the house. And this is just where they can be, where they're not going to get broken because there's low foot traffic. The kitchen area is kind of one of the biggest projects that I've been working on. I just finished this project before I went to my reunion. Um, this cart was here before it came with the house, but it was just super nasty, it's sticky, gross. So it took forever to wash and get all the sticky off. But now that it is, I've got all of my um, dishes and stuff on here. You'll notice a lot of uh, cans and jars, and that's just because they are cockroach proof. I still am having a problem with cockroaches, and so that's what these um, boxes are for underneath these storage totes. Some of them have dishes because obviously I don't want cockroaches calling, crawling on dishes before I eat off of them. And then another one has food that isn't in jars and whatnot. So we're keeping things cockroach proof. Underneath I have um, two wooden crates that have like tin cans and um, plastic containers, stuff that I can reuse. And then I've got like my espresso maker and its case and my grinder and the scale for that and all that jazz because I've kind of gotten into espresso making lately, um, but I'm not quite ready to throw the boxes away yet. I, I'm not that good yet. Um, there's just some bottles laying around waiting to be used. And then in the back, there is a punch bowl that I washed and then put in the plastic baggie again so that uh, it doesn't get dirty and have bugs in it and whatnot. Um, the next thing over that you'll notice is that I got a fridge. It's a little mini fridge off of Facebook. The price was right. And that's what the inside of the fridge looks like in case you're curious, making some cold brew. Um, and I have my composting crock on top. I'm really struggling here in the kitchen because with this evaporative cooler blowing air in from the outside, everything just gets super dusty and dirty. And so there's dust bunnies on the ground and that just literally showed up today. I can't even keep up with it. Um, so if anybody has tips for that, let me know. But to me, that's just like the price I pay for staying cool. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, uh, there's kind of a limited amount of stuff that I can put there on the fridge and whatnot. I also am using water from like filters in town. I um, am not sure that I trust the tap water. I tried to do a water test and they never got me the answer. So that's great. I have somebody coming for this stove. It's totally broken and gross and filled with bugs. Um, and they're hopefully coming next week. But this little two burner stove that I got from Walmart for like 20 bucks is really good. So <laughs> I'm not too worried about it. And yeah, this cabinet is all empty. Nothing is inside of this. It's really gross. There are holes uh, on the back of this through the drywall and everything that just let bugs and stuff in. Um, and so I basically leave all of this closed and have sprayed um, bug killer all around inside and around the outsides. So anything that does come in dies, but um, obviously they have to get inside before they die. So it's not ideal, that's why I've got this over here um, where all of the food can just be wheeled around when it's time to go and uh, clean up everything or if I'm working on projects, it can just move, but yeah, that's gotta go. Over here, I have chairs from that dining table. I don't trust my walls or anything and the cabinets are all really gross, so one of the chair backs is actually my towel rack. Also on there are the clothes that I unpacked for my trip, but normally this um, stool has some clothes like that are work clothes that if I come out of the shower, I can just throw on. Um, another chair in the back has uh, cleaning supplies. So I have like not pretty cleaning supplies and I have pretty cleaning supplies. And so those are those two chairs and then uh, mop and broom and uh, I am still using a cardboard box as my garbage can um, and then I just have a jug to throw away trash bags and my charger and battery for my tools and whatnot so that corner is kind of busy a lot of little bottles and stuff but it can't really be helped um, over here, I have Teddy's food and water bowl, my makeup case because I have nowhere to put it, and that bag is a laundry bag that I travel with, but I don't have a hamper right now, and so it is my hamper, <laughs> that little bag, um, but we'll work on that soon. This little corner is like the best corner of the house so far, and if you guys follow my Instagram, you'll have seen a photo of it so far. I just have this basket that I got in a state sale. I got my uh, router, a vase, a lamp, my ZZ plant, a cocktail book, and then um, it's actually really funny. This lamp is not, like that's a lamp, and then underneath is this like wine cooler um, that I got from Society6 at a thrift store for like $4. And if you know Society6 stuff, that is really, really cheap. So yeah, I... Uh, just put them together because I needed some place for it to go so it wasn't in the box. Um, and it just happened that this little lamp fit right on top of it. It's not gonna stay that way, it's a little hokey, but just to get it out of the way until it has a home um, and I have furniture that all this stuff can actually go on and, and that's its actual final resting place, I think it's kind of cute. Um, this cabinet is pretty uh, messy. I have stuff coming in the mail to organize it and put files and whatnot. Um, but in this top little cabinet, I have my glove collection. That's not something I ever thought I would have um, is an assortment of gloves, but I do. And so I've kind of just got them here so that they're easy to access. The uh, stuff underneath, I have a furniture dolly that you guys may have seen that doesn't work very good. And then a dolly that I also thrifted recently, my tripod, and then this little thing that I got at an estate sale. Moving on, I am going to do just a quick little in and out with the regular lens on my phone so that you guys can see like how big the bathroom actually is. When I did my first tour, I did the wide lens and everybody thought my bathroom was actually kind of a good size, but like this is the single like zoom lens um, 
the regular times zoom lens. And this is the wide lens, 0.5 uh, zoom. And so you can see how much bigger it looks just based on the lens. Um, so yeah, this is a little room that I've been working to um, get to the point where I can add square footage to the bathroom by taking out of that little hallway. That exterior door will go, the bathroom door will go, the wall inside the bathroom will go, this cabinet will go um, because it's all really gross and it's so small. You can't do anything in the bathroom unless you close the door, which then limits airflow and it's just not great. So yeah, when that cabinet goes um, and the wall goes and everything, it'll just feel so much bigger. Even if I can't actually renovate the bathroom yet, it will just feel so much better. This cabinet's actually supposed to have glass on it um, and be like an actual medicine cabinet. Um, obviously the mirrors are gone, but I um, have just gotten all of my stuff in there. I also have put stuff down in the cabinet below, but not much. Basically anything that just doesn't fit up above. Um, it's a little bit cluttered looking with the open storage, but I don't mind too much. And uh, that's all what I had in the van. If that tells you how much storage the van has and how much I was able to make room in the van. I don't have a shower curtain. I just have a liner. The shower, like I said, leaks. Um, so I have buckets laying around to catch the water so I'm not wasting it. And the shower is just super basic. Um, oh, fun story, Teddy was taking a bath one day and freaked out, wanted to get out, and he put a hole through my shower curtain liner, so it's a good thing that was only a dollar from the Dollar Tree. I have a rug down below from Ikea, and I'm actually hating that I got the green color, so I'm going to order something else um, just as a temporary solution. I got this brass um, towel bar from West Elm at the outlet. It's such nice quality and it was only a handful of dollars as opposed to like 50 or plus dollars from West Elm. And then you can see the shadow here from the mirror that you guys saw before. It's literally across from the toilet. So you would stare at yourself while you were on the toilet and it's just not good. Not the vibe I'm going for. So coming back through the homestead and going towards the living room, this area doesn't have a ton to show you guys. I ripped out the carpet, obviously. You guys would have seen that in, I think, the very first video I posted on the homestead. Um, something else I've been working on is to pull the bricks out from underneath this fireplace. Um, and I've been finding random fireplace tools out in the desert sand and just collecting them. They're all in really bad shape and kind of don't work, but I mean, I've just been collecting them and sticking them on that stool there anyways. So I've got to get curtains for this window because this is the sun coming through where I sleep every morning and it just cooks me. Um, and I have to wake up very early because it is too dang hot. I'm also skimming the walls in here in the very near future, so that is a bunch of projects. This room should theoretically look pretty different in the near future. Speaking of looking pretty different, this couch probably looks pretty different. If you guys saw the LA vlog, uh, this couch is beautiful, but I've got it covered up with this sheet because I'm sleeping on it. This is my bed for right now, and I don't want to get the bed all gross. Um, I bought these pillows from Society6, and... I've got a little mister on them, and um, fun fact, these are kind of the color scheme. This, these pillows are pretty much exactly the color scheme I'm looking for. If you want to add a chocolate brown in there too, um, that might be a more accurate color scheme, but otherwise, that's it. I thrifted a bunch of blankets, but on top of that, I've got this little sarong that I've actually been traveling with for years and years now. Um, fun fact, I can't actually sleep unless I'm covered up with something, even if it's boiling hot. So I have that little sarong, which is essentially nothing to cover me up. This little tree plant, Dracaena, if you guys remember, I put it in my lotus plant. Um, outside and it did not do well. So I stuck it in here and look at all the new roots it's growing. Um, so yeah, it's just gonna be a water plant inside. This um, philodendron next to it is also from the van and it's doing really well inside and 
has a bunch of new growth and um, all of that brown was actually heat stress and whatnot from me being gone and it running out of water while I was gone at my reunion, but otherwise it's doing really well. And yeah, the only other things in here are the, the joint compound for me to reskin my walls. And then here in the bedroom is literally even less going on. This is kind of just a storage room for my drywall and extra wood and stuff. And yeah, I haven't really done anything in here except for take the carpet up and then there was like this really weird track light on the ceiling in this room and I took that down one of the days that I had a dump truck or a dumpster here so that that could get out. But yeah, this room really stinks. Um, it still smells a lot like marijuana and so I really haven't been doing anything in here. I avoid this room. I close the door and leave it closed at all times and so it needs to be skimmed and to have like an odor blocking um, primer put over it and like the floors painted and or cleaned at least um, and all of that. Um, I do in the long term want to paint the floors and leave them concrete. I really do like concrete floors, um, but yeah. So coming out this door, this door is actually going to go away in the long term too whenever I um, get around to making those big windows into a French door, then that door will be able to go away. This is the update on my lotus plant. It's doing really well. And I made this um, little stand. It has a float. And if you guys saw my last video, you'd see like I set up a rain barrel and everything so I could turn the water off while I was gone. Again, I have a leaky shower. I didn't want to pay for that water while I was gone and waste it. So I just turned the water off to the house and let the rain barrel water everything. It worked out really well. Lotus is doing good, even though it's just way too hot out for it. Over here, I have uh, Teddy's dog food, a trash can with barrel uh, bottles and stuff for deposit, and then my trash. These came inside while I was gone, but I have them outside because I'm worried that they attract bugs. You know, like dog food and trash and everything, it just attracts cockroaches. So I have them outside. Um, I think that's smart because there were some bugs kind of near them when they were stored inside for the week. So, yeah. The rest of this area is basically the same. All my tools and you guys probably saw basically this exact same view in the vlog where I took my fence down. Um, I've got a compost pile going of all of the leaves and whatnot from that video. And then I brought a telescope home, which you guys can see um, from my parents' house. We had that when I was a kid. And um, with shipping prices being as insane as they are nowadays, it was just cheaper for me to put it in as my checked bag than it was to ship it. So... Oh, and I cannot forget to show you guys my little Hummer. He just hangs out with me all day long. He, I think he likes the window being open and the cold air blowing out of it. He just sits here and has a little snack and comes inside or comes and comes right up to the window like you can see and just gets cool. And he's my little buddy. He's here all the time. He's practically my pet now <laughs> along with Teddy. So yeah, I'm just gonna give you guys one final overview here with the wide angle lens so you can get a feel for you know the layout again. And that is pretty much it. That's my three month update. I am all moved into the house and I really wanna thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate you all being here. If you like what you're seeing, if you're invested in seeing the projects that I've been talking about, please, please, please subscribe. You can follow my Instagram as well. And it's always helpful if you like and comment on a video to tell YouTube that it's worth showing to people. So I'm going to get off of here and thanks for watching.